Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be teaching you how I do my homemade burgers. So first things first, I'm going to start off with 750 grams of beef mince. It's up to you, you can choose whatever mince you prefer, but I'm going to be using beef mince today. So first I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. And that's a level teaspoon, you don't need to heap it. You don't want too much in there. That's one and a half. I'm gonna add half teaspoon of black pepper. So that should be enough. I'm just gonna add a tiny sprinkle of paprika. I'm going to do half teaspoon of all pepper seasoning and that's the done to the one that I use. I'm just going to use a quarter teaspoon of jerk seasoning. I don't want too much, just a dried jerk seasoning. I'm going to do one teaspoon of dried parsley. You can add more of this if you want, it's up to you. And then I'm going to do two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. So I use the golden breadcrumbs, but it's up to you. You don't have to use golden breadcrumbs, you can use just about any breadcrumbs you'd like. So I've just done two heaped tablespoons of breadcrumbs. All of the ingredients that I've used will be put in the description box below. So never mind if you can't catch it now whilst I'm doing it. In a separate little container, I'm just gonna put the camera down so I can show you. I'm just gonna crack one egg and remove the eyes from it. Okay, brilliant. So now I'm gonna add this egg to my mince and seasoning and then I'm just gonna combine them all together using a fork first and then I'll move on to making the patties with my hand so you're just mixing everything in together If you prefer to use your hand instead of a fork, you can just put on gloves so you don't get meat all over your fingers and stuck in your fingernails and all of the above. So my meat for my burgers have been seasoned. So you don't have to leave this overnight or anything like that, literally you can just season it as you are ready to do your burgers and then you just shape your patties and then you put it either in the oven or you can do it on the stove top in the frying pan. For me I like to seal them on the stove first and then put them inside the oven. So I'm just going to wash my hands and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've washed my hands now, I've put on my gloves and everything. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my patties for my burgers. Just gonna make sure that the seasoning is properly incorporated. So 
so I'll just pick up um, well, from out of a handful, my hands are quite small, so <laughs> it depends on how big your hands are. I'm gonna check on that, right? So, it's got that into a ball, you can roll it if you want, or you can just try and shape it with your hand, and then I'll literally just flatten it. Doesn't need to be perfectly round or anything, it's a burger. So just flatten it like that and then I just rest it on something until I'm ready to actually cook it. If you want to make your burgers thinner you can, if you want to make them thicker you can, it's up to you. If you're doing it on the stove, put your frying pan on to heat up whilst you're doing whilst you're doing this. Just so that when you're finished, you don't have to wait for it. You can just literally just put them straight in the pan and get started. And then you do four at a time because obviously your frying pan will fit roughly four birds in. Okay, so there you have it. So those are my four that are ready to go in the pot. So I've had my frying pan on a medium high heat now for about five minutes whilst I was doing the patties. So I'm just gonna add them in one at a time. You can hear it sizzling so it's hot enough. Like I said, I'm going to do four at a time. When you're doing burgers with beef mints. I'm not sure about any other mints because I don't use any other mints. But beef mints produces its own oil so you don't actually need to put any oil in the pan. As you can see there I put the burgers on and they've literally just started sizzling away and the grease is actually coming out of them because they've got you know beef usually has a bit of fat in the mint so it will make it produce its own oil to cook in. So you don't actually need to base your pan with any oil whatsoever. So I'm going to give them a few minutes on that side and I'm going to flip them over once they're done. I'm going to put them in the oven for a bit with the cheese on top so that the cheese can melt through. And then that should be it for that. I'm just going to let it cook for a few minutes and then I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so they've been cooking on one side now for five minutes and I've flipped over one. As you can see, that side is cooked. So I'm just, I'm just going to flip over the others and then let them cook through for another for about two to three minutes and then put them on my oven tray to go into the oven. Remember guys, you don't want to do it for too long because you don't want it dried out when you're eating your burger. You want it nice and juicy but cooked at the same time. Okay, so I don't want them to cook too much, so I'm just going to take them out now, put them on an the oven tray, put some cheese on top. You can choose which cheese you want. I'm going to use the sliced cheese, the orange sliced cheese. Um, you can use cheddar, you can use mozzarella, you can use whatever cheese you want. It's up to you totally. Whatever you fancy. If you want to try something that you've never tried before, go for it. So then, I'm going to do that and then I'll see you guys. So, my patties are here now. And I've just literally put some cheese on top and my mine's are clean. So it's just there. It's completed. Put some cheese on top. So now I'm going to put this in the oven. And then I'm going to 
let it cook through a bit and then I'm going to grill it on top so it gets that nice little brown crisp top on the cheese. So it's in the oven at 160, probably needs to be in there for about 5-6 minutes depending on how you like yours. You can take it out early, you can leave it in for longer, it's up to you. So that's done now and then I'll show you guys how I assemble my burgers. Okay so there we have it, our patties are finished and our cheese melted on and the top is nice and golden. Just like I explained, so I'm going to come back and show you guys how to actually assemble the burgers once I'm finished. Okay guys, so I'm back to teach you how I assemble uh, my burgers. It's up to you how you do it. You can put in your sauce anyway, you can put in your salad anyway. If you don't want your salad, if you want to add bacon to it, if you want to use sweet chilli sauce, barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, it's up to you what you do. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. So first... I put on some mayo then I do my ketchup I use hot pepper sauce on my one um. so it's a Dunn's River hot pepper sauce quite hot so you need to be careful when you're using it so I'm just gonna put literally about four drops on here then I'm going to put my patty on top of that over that I'm going to put some lettuce you can put as much or as little lettuce as you want you don't have to put any at all. And then I'm going to top that off with a slice of tomato. And there you have it.